back to my channel everyone. I am going to film today the October finished pages. I've had my nails done. They're a lot shorter today so hopefully I won't get to hand ache when I'm colouring. So I'm going to start off with my Hannah Carl's on Soulmates book. I've started working in this again this month. Um, I'm going to have to apologise because I have actually tried to film this uh, a few times. And if it's not the dogs, if it's not noise outside, so I've already took the tags out of everything. Um, so you will have to bear with me a little bit. I, I do apologise. Um, so this is the first one I did. It was actually the first one I, I did this month, I think. Um, so I've done acrylic background. Again, I'm terrible with the acrylic. And I've used some of the GD colour glitter. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. You can slightly see it. Uh, Prismacolor pencils everywhere else and Pentel Hybrid Duo on all of the jewellery and the headdress. And I used, if I can remember the name, oh gosh, I can't remember the name. Let me just check. I just had to get the bottle because I couldn't remember the name. The Glossy Accents, I've used this a lot this month. The only thing that I've found with this is the end dries up so it blocks it. So I've had to cut it with scissors and it's slightly sp split the end of it. Uh, so we'll have to think of something else to keep this in, I think. Because possibly if I use it now, it just might go everywhere, all over the page, even though I just want it in little areas. So yeah, I've done her. And then I worked on... Uh, this is the page that I used the tea bags to stain the paper. Sticked, stuck the paper down uh, with PVA glue. Uh, all the actual colouring is Prismacolor. And there's a little bit, as you can see with the shine here. And there's a little bit here, the Pentel uh, gel pens again. And then I've gone in with Distress Ink all around the edges just to get rid of any white areas. Um, I think there is another one in here, yep, this one, so the fish later. The whole of the background is ink tents. Her hair is Neo Colour 2s. Uh, the pencils that I used were Prismacolor again, and I've used the Pentel Hybrid Duo Gel Pen again on the fish that are on the headdress. And there are some stickles. Um, for the water droplets and I've gone around some of the areas with a uh, white gel pen along with her eyelashes. So that's that one. I'm glad that I've started working in that one again. So this folder I keep my set of art uh, by Mario the Boudac and any uh, other prints offs um, from Etsy and I've kept some of my colour pages in here. So this was just a little cheap book that I got again from Etsy. I think it was about £4 for, it was either 10 or 12 images. I'll link it down below because I can't remember the name of it or the shop. But this was just a very easy one. I managed to finish this one and this one that I'll show you in a minute in one night. Neo Colour 2 background and ink tents all over the dragon. Again with the, uh, I think it's GD Colour. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll link her shop down below. I think there's Winker Stella on the wings as well. And then Prismacolor over the top. I'll show you this one next. All exactly the same media, just no glitter. No glitter, no Winker Stella, as you can see. They remind me a lot of Pokemon these. I'll pop these ones here. My first finished one of Mariola Budek's work. And I'm overjoyed how this one's turned out. I really am. So I've used Ganzair Tanvi on the headdress. A little bit of stickles on the jewellery here and here. I've, that's the only thing that I wish I hadn't have done because I think I added too much. Again, I added the glossy accents to the eyes of the fox. Uh, I did base the fox actually with alcohol markers. This is good quality paper so you can see it's not actually bled all the way through. Um, so I, don't, I hope that does show the actual quality, the thickness of the paper. And then it was poly, polychromos actually on this one. Yeah, it was. I did this over a couple of live streams. 
it's not necessarily a colour long or colour with me. It was just me wanting to come on and chat to you guys. And yeah, I'm overjoyed. I had a t the hair and the skin has turned out. I think I may frame that one. I love it that much. So I've got a Hannah Lynn uh, Halloween one. So I used Pentel Hybrid again for the uh, Happy Halloween. Prismacolor for all the ladies. I used ink tents at the top and I've gone over it with, um, it was an OPI clear nail polish with glitter in. And it does work a treat. I think what I'll have to do is, because it's, it's got a little bit thick now because it's old, I'll have to add a little bit of nail polish remover. Um, hopefully that does the trick. That was from last month. That was from last month, but this one I did as a colour along. So I'm I'm finished now with the Halloween um, theme pictures. No, till next year. Yeah. So that's everything that I keep in this folder. I'll put them all back when I finish filming. I can't have them loose in there. It'll drive me crazy. So we have got the Halloween special by Colouring Heaven. I've done two in here. This one I don't like at all. I did some of it as a, a live stream, I believe. And I've done, uh, I think it was Intense originally for the background and I went over it with Neo, uh, Neo Color 2s because I wasn't happy with it. Uh, and Prismacolor everywhere else. And there's black acrylic at the bottom here. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything else about that. I don't like how that one turned out. There is one more image. I do like how this one's turned out though, mind you. So I used ink tents again. I've got a kit with the intents at the moment, I think. Uh, for the whole of the background, I use the Sakura jelly rolls for the sparkly bits at the top. I want to say I used Prismas, but I would be lying if I said I remembered, because this was right at the start of the month. Pentel, Duo, I know that because I know that colour for all of the jewellery. Uh, did I go, did I base it? Yep, I based it with alcohol marker. So I would have used the Spectrum Noir pastel set. And then I've gone over, actually, with acrylic. That's the first time that I've actually tried to paint uh, and do shading with acrylic paint. And I'm pleased how it's turned out. I am pleased. I like the overall effect of that picture, the colours that I chose. I like everything about it. So that's the colour in heaven. So that won't come out again now till uh, next year, I don't think. So we've got our Misfits, number nine, the Gothic Fantasy. And you will have to bear with me. I think I, yeah, there it is. It was just a very, very easy page. Not even a background on this one. I think I just did this when I was in bed watching TV. So there's barely any blending. There's, like I said, no background. It was just easy colouring. So yeah, I think I've, all, I've used the Pentel again there, just on the buckles and everything else is Prisma. Nothing special about that. And we've got another Misfits, a zombie uh, special number two. This one was really a tester page to see how this paper would handle acrylic paint. Um, it's not been too bad. The Pentel uh, gel pen has actually bled through, which I'm quite surprised about. And everywhere else was Prismacolor. I mean, there's nothing else to say about that. I've not blended the C very well. It was just a really quick, quick and easy. I've not even coloured the seaweed in there, so let me. That's that one. And then we've got my Bovid Jasmine Becky Griffith books. I always struggle with the last, uh, the last name. Let me find. Where are you? It's annoying that I took all the tags out. It was just a little one that I did in this one. Um, there it is, the little dragon, a little teeny tiny page. I do wish that she'd done this, uh, or she chose to do this as a full image. I would have really enjoyed colouring the dragons. I love anything to do with dragons. But that page and this one, I wish she'd done as a full one because the hair is actually uh, different in this. It's not the usual. I do like the bonds. But yeah, I used Artes, not Artes, uh, Castle Art, Castle Art pencils. Um, they're okay. They're not my favourite. Mm. 
So that's what I did in that one. I'll zoom you back out. I've done my first page in Alice in Wonderland. This is a very, uh, I've got mixed feelings about this. I love how she turned out. I love how the hair turned out. I did the whole background with alcohol markers, as you can see. Like I said, just ignore that dear for a minute. Again, with the glossy accents on the eyes. I can't have on about this enough. Love it. You see, it makes it look 3D. It's fabulous. And again, I tried to do acrylic paint on the deer and I don't think it's turned out. I tried to make him look fluffer and he just looks dirty. So yeah, that's the only thing. I love how she turned out. She looked a bit sunburnt at first because I tried a different colour combination. But after all the blending, she turned out. I love the hair. Just the deer I am not happy with. So that's that one. We've got Dream of Dragons and Dragon Kin. This is the same publisher as the previous two books. Uh, so you, you're going to expect the same lovely paper, the same layout. Um, this is definitely a bit of a mixed media page. As you can see, alcohol markers as a base. I've put washi tape all the way around this guy. Neil Coat is in the background with white jelly roll for all the details. And... Prismacolor again. Prismacolor. I, and I, I really enjoyed doing this. I just I did this in one night. So it probably took me about two and a half hours. And then I finished it. So we've got three more. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. But this is a lovely book. I think I'm going to be doing definitely more pages coming up to Christmas now. Um, I will actually show you the page that I'm thinking about doing it's the one with the deers is it that one yep so my plan with this is i'm going to blank out the whole of the background i don't like wallpaper pages but do the actual deer so the one that i've actually colored this is the first time that i actually used the glossy accents so this is when i got hooked um it was prismacolor and polys for this one pentel for all the gold detail uh, and I actually followed a tutorial by, I think it's Helen Anderson, Helen Anderson, I think that's her name. Um, the boot that I've got, the tutorial. So I hope that you can actually tell the difference because I spent like 40 minutes on each of the pumpkins, which is not like me. Um, so yeah, happy how that turned out. Got Myth of Morphia, a Kirby Roseanne. I did the werewolf, the double spread werewolf. This was closer to the start of the month. So we've got acrylic background. I basted the whole of the werewolf with Neil Colour 2. Ink tents and uh, prismas for the trees, all the trees. I tried to add a little bit of fog. Don't know if I succeeded. <laughs> so yeah, that's another, another mixed media page. I enjoyed doing that, but it was a lot of uh, fiddly bits. So the last one that I've got, you might have seen it on social media. I've shared it on a couple of groups. I've shared it on my Instagram. Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram, it's just the same name as my YouTube name, Colour Me Stress Free, with caps in between. Um, so yeah, this is the Colour in Heaven calendar. Uh, I used Polychromos for the skin. It was actually polys actually everywhere. And I was super duper impressed how she turned out. Again, with the glossy accents on the eyes. I've gone around the wings with a white gel pen. And I think this was the Sparkle Pen, all of this. Sparkle Pen by Spectrum Noir, I'm pretty sure. And then a soft pastel background, easy background with just some stencils, easy peasy. So I hope you enjoyed my finished pages. I'm, I'm impressed with the amount that I've got through this month. Especially with the colder nights coming up, I think I'm going to be able to manage to get through uh, a little bit more in November. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!